dimension now with precision guided munitions where you can put a warhead through a door in an underground bunker uh, and uh, especially with some of the technologies we've got available to us today. Strike line, Roger. Looked like a uh, high order. If, if you have to take out a facility, an underground facility, why would you nuke it? Why not, uh, you know, seal the entrances? Why not make it unusable? The robust nuclear earth penetrator was initially sold as a clean surgical weapon. It was claimed that since most of the blast would be directed underground, there'd be a reduced risk of radioactive fallout. But the US government's own tests showed otherwise. The 100 kiloton nuclear explosion excavated more than 6 million cubic yards of earth in a matter of seconds. The result was a crater more than 1,200 feet in diameter, the length of four football fields, and 325 feet deep, the height of a 32-story building. This 1962 film shows an underground nuclear explosion only a third of the size that will be produced by the new bunker buster. Far from being contained, half of the radioactive material was distributed as fallout over a large area, despite the charge being buried almost 200 metres underground. During testing, it's been discovered that bunker busters are unlikely to penetrate more than about 10 metres. If you use a nuclear weapon, a, a earth penetrator, uh, you're still going to get ejecta coming out of the radioactive uh, material, coming out of the, the, the crater, which is going to you know, go into the atmosphere and, and uh, kill several tens of thousands or tens of millions of people, depending on where it's used. 